All right, guys, we got our fire going in our poor man's grill here. And uh, don't you just love this thing? It's just a couple cinder blocks stacked together with an old oven grill in there. <laughs> it has a cooking rack. Like I said, poor man's grill. But hey, it gets the job done. All right, we got our water here. We're going to put it through the first process of filtering, filtration. We're going to throw our uh, handkerchief over it. We're going to hold it in place. <sighs> with my hair band. Yes, I've got long bushwhacker hair. But, you know. That's how it goes when you're down here in the south. And we're just going to fill our pot up. Filtering it through our bandana into our pot. We're going to set our water over the fire and let it come to a rolling boil. We'll get back with you. Okay guys, it has taken approximately 30 to 35 minutes to get this gallon of water to a rolling boil uncovered on an open fire and it is uh, my phone goofed up there. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. And it is 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside, if you can see that. And my water, gallon of water in an uncovered pot over an open fire, is at a full rolling boil. So, it should be safe to drink now. Uh,. We're going to take it off the fire here and let it cool down and move over towards our work area and hopefully see how this little ascorbic acid experiment works. All right, we'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, we're back and we've moved back here near my shed to my average everyday work area here. I got a table to work on, so uh, we've got our gallon of water boiled here in our open pot. It's still kind of cooling down. There is a little bit of ash in there, but I didn't cover it with a lid because when you're out in the field, you don't always have a lid for your cover, a cover for your uh, boiling water. So I'm trying to make this experiment as true to real trail life as possible here. Um, I've got a gallon here which is four quarts. There's four cups to a, a quart, four quarts to a gallon. Each one of these is a quart, so we should have four jars full of water. Of course, it won't be a full quart precisely because we've lost some water from the evaporation process from the boiling. So let's go ahead and start filling their bottle, or, uh, bottles up here as best as possible, I'm trying not to spill it everywhere. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I'm a pretty messy guy. I get stuff a little bit of everywhere. You can probably still see the wax on my work table there from the buddy burner experiment. And there we go. We have four quarts of boiled water. A little bit of sediment in there, go ahead and dump that. So we now have our four quarts of boiled water and uh, since it's been boiled it should be safe to drink but uh, we're going to chemically treat them also uh, just to see how the ascorbic acid here oh, right over here all my equipment on the end of the table I'm working on. There we go. We're going to treat it with our, um, we're going to have one quart left plain boiled, and we're going to have one quart treated with our iodine tablets. We're going to have one quart here treated with our bleach. I've transferred some bleach over into my little bottle here. 
just for easy access. And this spare cord over here is going to be set aside for now. We're going to come back to it later. That's going to be another little experiment after uh, all of our little treatment processes here is done. Now, uh, most people take these uh, iodine tablets out into the field with them to treat their water when they don't boil their water. But uh, honestly, guys, bleach is a much better water purification process. Uh, this kills most of the viruses, you know, the Giardia, the Cuspermordium. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Forgive me. Um, and whatnot. But the bleach will kill even more uh, than the iodine will. It has a higher success rate of killing the Cuspermordium. Is that correct? Anyhow, those parasites. It has much greater ability to kill those parasites. That's why it is used in city pur water purification process. That's why if you've ever gotten a drink of tap water out of your city supply, you can pretty much smell the chlorine in it. Uh, because you use a lot less chlorine to treat a lot more water, and it's much more successful at treating it. So, we're going to leave this quart of boiled water as is and we'll pour some of it off into these smaller jars here so we're going to treat uh, we'll have these two treated and then we'll pour some into these this won't be treated but we'll still pour some into here and we're going to treat all of these right here with their ascorbic acid i.e. vitamin C and we're going to test the treated water uh, that's been treated chemically and with the ascorbic acid and the regular boiled water, less than palatable mind you, treated with the ascorbic acid just to see if the ascorbic acid will not only clarify the treatment process but also uh, make the water a bit more palatable to drink. So, let's get started. Alright guys, we're back. It has been the allotted 30 mi minutes of recommendation for our water treatment here. So it should all be safe to drink now. This right here is our normal untreated boiled water. This is their iodine treated water. And this is our chlorinated, chlorine treated water. So, I'm going to pour out of these liter containers roughly two cups into these half quart containers oh. and these are going to be the containers we place uh, the ascorbic acid in to test with the flavor if it uh, helps the flavor any. Like I said this is our normal boiled un unchemically treated just boiled to be purified water. I'm going to pour some over here into our two cups, two, half a quart, which is two cups, which is roughly how much a canteen cup will hold. And we're just going to set these to the side for right now. Since we're not going to do anything with these except for to add ascorbic acid to this one. So we're going to set those over there, get them out of our way. Here's the iodine treated. Yeah, you can tell. It doesn't look too good. It's all brown and it, it reeks of iodine, guys. Uh, <laughs> I do not like the taste of water treated with iodine. And uh, honestly, after drinking it for an extended amount of time, it gives me heartburn. And this is their chlorinated, our water treated with chlorine. Now let me add real quick before we go any further. If you are going to treat your water with chlorine, which I highly suggest you do because it uh, it does a lot better job than the iodine. 
but if you are going to use chlorine you want to either use it in a food safe plastic container and or a stainless steel container if your water bottle is aluminum do not and I repeat do not put treat your water with bleach in an aluminum container the bleach will react with the aluminum and release chlorine gas in excess and you risk the chance of your water bottle exploding and creating a noxious amount of chlorine gas okay so guys a little piece of cardboard here that just to keep a our ascorbic acid fairly sterile here this ascorbic acid or vitamin C here is rated at 500 milligrams per tablet this iodine uh, treating tablet neutralizing tablet is rated at 45 grams per tablet so one tablet of this is well over the amount that's in one of these so we don't have to use a whole tablet in fact one eighth of a tablet is roughly 62 and a half grams of uh, ascorbic acid which is more than enough to treat a full liter in fact it's about one and a half times the amount that's in one of these bottles so we only need about an eighth of a tablet to treat a whole quart or liter of water now I'm only going to cut these into eighths because uh, it's pretty hard to cut one of these tablets into sixteenths which would still be more than enough to treat our two cups so I'm going to take out one of these tablets set it there on your paper I hope you can see that let me zoom in on this so you guys can see a bit better on what I'm doing I'll get right back okay you. now that we're zoomed in a bit and you can see a bit better of what I'm doing this is one of the 500 milligram vitamin C tablets that you can buy over the counter at any uh, pharmacy in any pharmacy section of your grocery store or health food store or anything like that uh, I'm going to cut it up into eights which will still be more than enough to do air two cups of chemically treated water now if you're going to do it for a whole quart I'd go ahead and use a quarter of a tablet I mean you it's overkill uh, it, it's overkill by about two and a half times the amount of one of these uh, neutralizing tablets but it's vitamin C it's not going to harm you so go ahead and use a quarter tablet it's still way more economical than buying the two pack of the iodine and neutralizing tablets so I'm going to take my pocket knife here and line it up on the halfway mark hold the tablet so it don't go flying everywhere making sure I don't cut my fingers as I do it and just slice it right down the center take my half tablet go ahead slice it once again half it there's their fourth piece then half the fourth piece into eights all right there's two eights and here's our other half uh, quarter piece and we're going to slice it down into eights there so there we go we got enough right there to do air uh, eight cups of water or two quarts right here and just half a tablet we still have this half tablet right here we can set to the side put back in our bottle and use later which I'm going to go ahead and do all right let me zoom the camera back out so you can have a bit better view of what I'm doing and we'll get started on the treatment